In this video, we'll have a look at how to enable WooCommerce test mode. Let's get straight into it. So before we actually get into the video, there's two things in which I want to address. So one, we're going to test our WooCommerce checkout flow using the Stripe test method. And then two, we can go ahead and test the checkout flow using almost like a fake payment method, right? And the reason being, we want to check to see how our confirmation page is working, whether our order confirmation emails are triggering and so on. Let's say, for example, we wanted to check the payment error message um, on our checkout page right to do that it won't actually work with the stripe test mode because when we enable stripe test mode it doesn't actually check to validate if the credit card or payment method is valid right so if we really want to test to see what type of errors our customers would face we just need to do that with the live version and how i personally typically test is i'll create a new product and just call it test and then i'll probably set the price of that product to something like one dollars right and in that way we get a true representation of how our customers will actually experience our website and our checkout process okay so with that being said let's get straight into it so the first thing we want to do is head over to WooCommerce and then settings and we'll navigate over to payments okay again since I'm using stripe I'm gonna go ahead and click manage all right and then we'll navigate over to settings okay and then here on the test mode I'm just gonna enable this option and then we scroll down and hit save changes all right so since we've enabled this test mode here we need to actually head over to our stripe account area so if we click on this link here it'll take us directly to our stripe account and then we just need to go ahead and enter in our keys here right so i've already entered in the live api key here however as you can see i haven't entered in any um, test keys here so if we click on this link here it'll take us directly over to our stripe account so you just need to log in okay so now when we click this link here here we can see the test api key so we can go ahead and copy this and then we can go ahead and paste it in here and we can get the secret key as well we can paste it in here all right and here it's saying we need to get um, the webhook sign in secret key from the webhook section all right so if we click on this we can go ahead and get the webhook here I actually need to update my site URLs because this is incorrect. So this is actually site two. Now we can update it. So I'm just going to clear this out. Let's add it back and let's hit update. All right. So now let's copy this URL and let's paste it here and then let's save our test key. All right. So that saved fine. So now let's view our store and let's go ahead and attempt to purchase the product. So I've already got one in our basket. So let's navigate over to the checkout page. Okay, so that's saved fine. So if we click this link here where it says use test card number, it'll open up this Stripe URL where we can copy over these test numbers here, right? So for example, if we wanted to simulate a discovery card, we can copy this detail here. And now let's head over to our shop page. I've already got this item in our basket, so we'll just navigate over to checkout. All right, so we'll click use new payment method. Let's paste this in and then let's go ahead and add any random numbers. All right, and let's hit place order. All right, so that's process fine. And then we just need to obviously check our email address and then just make sure all those order confirmation has actually come through just fine. Um, another method is if we head back over to our dashboard, I'll leave a link in the description below to a plugin, which we use internally, right? To test various different payment methods, right? So let's upload this plugin now. All right, so let's activate this plugin. If you weren't using Stripe and you don't have access to actually entering that API test key, we can go ahead and use this payment gateway simulator, right? So let's head over to WooCommerce and then settings and then payments. All right. And then here we'll have this card simulation option here. So we can just toggle this on. And then on the checkout page, we'll have the option to enter in some fake card details and it should process the order just fine. So the best test that I personally find is just to create a test product for like $1 or maybe a few cents and actually see the checkout process, right? To see what it's actually like as a real customer visiting your website and checking out. And I use the same approach as well to test our subscription. So essentially I'll create a test subscription product and I'll set the price to $1 daily and essentially i do have to wait 24 hours just to make sure that that recurring um, subscription is being charged right hopefully this was helpful if you got an alternative approach or you want to add to what i've said leave it in the comment box below